Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Maria Margaretha Kirk and her contributions to astronomy back in the 1700s. So what we know about this astronomer is that she lived from 1670 to 1720. And that unusual for the time is that her father insisted that she deserved an education. So she was educated from an er from an early age and she uh, married an astronomer Gottfried Kirk and had four children who were all astronomers as well. So it very much ran in this family that there were a lot of astronomers and a very big interest in astronomy which helped her. Now some of her astronomical work she was actually the very first woman to ever discover a comet. And that was the comet of 1702. She was also very well known for her work on conjunctions. Now a conjunction occurs when two objects are close to each other in the sky. And it could be two or more objects. So here that she looked at Venus and Saturn in conjunction with the sun in 1709 and studied that conjunction as well as a conjunction with Jupiter and Saturn. Now a conjunction does not mean necessarily that objects pass in front of one another or exactly super close together, but that they're relatively close together in the sky. And here we had two occasions of them just a few years apart that uh, that Maria studied. She is also known as the second female astronomer to publish under her own name within the Holy Roman Empire. So only the second time that this occurred that a woman was able to publish under her own name. And here we see one of the calendars that she worked on uh, that was eventually published. And we can see a little bit about what goes into this and the information that she put together on this calendar. Now after her husband's death in 1710, she applied for but was denied the appointment to his position in the observatory. Now that was very unfortunate. Uh, she was supported by several prominent scientists at the time that she deserved this uh, this position. But at the time her gender kept her from being given this this position. She did continue to work on astronomy for the last 10 years of her life after his death. And while she was not given the position she was given a medal for her work in astronomy. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit here at what we've looked at. We talked about Maria and how she had an interest in astronomy and unusual for this time was educated from an early age. She married Gottfried Kirk and worked with him until his death in 1710 and is probably best known for her publications on the conjunctions of 1709 and 1712. So that concludes this discussion on Maria Margaretha Kirk. We'll be back again next time for to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.